Well, good morning, everybody. Today, I am super excited to do a full day wear test on this Kosas foundation. I just love so many products from Kosas. Their concealer is one of my favorite. The powder, let's not even go there. We all know it's my go-to and they just have a lot of good products. They're bronzer, they're blushes, pretty much everything from them I really enjoy uh, and I'm excited to try this one out. So if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. If you'd like to join the family, subscribe down below and let's put this makeup on. So I have clean face. I am moisturized, but uh, I was kind of thinking with this one, do I want to prime? Do I not? Uh, so I think I'm just going to prime one side and leave the other one just normal, just to see how that works. I'm gonna take my Tatcha Luminous Silk. It's just a primer that I can trust and I know so well. I'm gonna do this side with a primer. So the color I got is 170 and it's neutral warm. It's supposed to be light with peachy golden undertones. So let's see. This is it. It's a nice packaging. I actually really like it. Kind of resembles the concealer. You have a very yellow pump. And this is nice and thick. And you have Kosa. So right here. I think it's really, really nice. So let's swatch the color right here. I'm getting better at getting my shades online. So let's hope that that may work, that may work. We're gonna let it dry out a little bit. So I spread it out a little bit more here, right here, and it definitely is a bit more peachy for sure. Can you see right there? I mean, I think it's a huge difference between blending it out and keeping it wet. I think it blends into my skin really, really well. I'm excited to see it on the skin. So this is supposed to be a medium coverage. Um, it is supposed to be hydrating. It's supposed to have a natural finish, uh, good for dullness and even texture. It's clean um, and it has hydration and SPF. It has an SPF of 25. Also, it is with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and I actually really like niacinamide. So I'm very curious to see how this will be on my skin. I'm taking one pump and it's kind of watery. It goes down my hand easily. So let's put it on this side that has the primer. So I'm using kind of like half of the pump. I still have quite a lot there. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Jumbo Base and let's blend this out. I really love their concealer so much. I actually got another shade. Now I have three shades because I always struggled. Ooh, that's nice so far. I always struggle finding my shade. So I got 2.5C because they're usually very warm and I like a little bit of a peachness under the eyes. And that looks flawless. Wow. Okay, I'm excited about it. Should I build it up just a little bit? Let me build it up a little bit more. I have, again, very dark circles. Last night was rough. I mentioned in another video that the baby's been like throwing up. Well, all the kids, but the baby still has it three days later and it was brutal last night. My husband and I, I swear we woke up every hour um, just to clean more sheets and it was awful. <laughs> so we're both just like so tired today. I feel like that built up really, really nicely. It's still not full coverage and it looks like a good medium coverage. It looks just like my skin. Wow. All right, let me turn off the lights and show you the difference. So this is with and without. This does have a primer on, and I think it is flawless. I think it's skin-like. It, it is just 
like my skin. It looks like my skin right now on. It has a, a radiance to it. It's not super intense. I think I was expecting with this to be like, pow, super intense. But as you can see, it kind of has some radiance to it, but not too much. I also have that primer underneath. So I'm curious to see just how it's going to work. So this is with and without. So far, I am loving. I love the color. I think the color is so good. It's like a perfect match. Ooh, I'm... I'm even more excited than I was before. And I was pretty excited. Okay, let's put this side. And I'm literally using my monitor as a mirror. Well, let's, let's look up close. This is so easy to blend in. Wow. This initially reminds me of the Chanel one, number one, that I love so much. It kind of, on the skin, reminds me of that. It blends in just as easily. It looks like skin. And the finish is very similar. A radiance, but not too much. Like, it's not glowy, I think, so far. Even if you... Or on the oiliest side, I think you could pull this one off with a mattifying primer. So I noticed a difference with the primer and without up close. With a primer, it looks just a little bit more smooth, more poreless, more just almost filtered. This, I can see it a little bit on the skin more. And I feel like it takes um, not long to dry. So you kind of have to work with it kind of fast i've noticed that like okay it was starting to set here um so i don't think it's a foundation that uh will stay dewy right now it's almost set i feel it a little bit but it seems to dry out quicker than i expected uh and the shade i like it actually again if it would be just a little bit deeper in person i noticed it more than on camera it's just a little bit lighter than my skin but uh, i like the undertone i think it's really pretty and yeah this is how we're looking like i think it's it's really really nice and it has a good medium coverage uh, i tried to build it up a little bit i couldn't get a full out of it and that's okay i don't need a full so this is how we're looking like All right, I am going to try this concealer in 2.5. I have 3W and 4N, I think. Now I just, I just don't love the colors of those, but I love this concealer so much. And I swatched this one in store once, um, and they were out of stock. Every time I went to get it, they were out of stock. So ooh, it looks much better than the other ones. The other ones on like initial application was like, woo, very warm and golden. I'm liking the undertone of this so much more than the other ones, but it's still not like this is supposed to be cool tone and it's it's not it's definitely neutral uh which i enjoy i should have used a corrector under because my dark circles are they're there but that's okay i am liking it so much more i'm gonna powder the concealer and should i finish the look yeah i think i'm just gonna put everything on and show you guys after how everything is looking so i have powdered the concealer and this is how we're looking like i think the skin looks really really nice it has a good medium coverage um it has a slight sheen to it not too much and I'm really, really loving how we're looking like. Finished the makeup. And I have to say, I have tried this Pat McGrath uh, eyeliner. And I've had it for some months. But it was so dry. 
like the tip was so dry and it was just so hard to do a precise eyeliner i really don't like it and i had it i barely used it i used it just a handful of times and it's already kind of drying out uh so i'm i'm not liking it i'm used to the tom ford one that lasts like a year <laughs> if you use it every day it's such a good one and i just find this just like no oh, like it was bothering me i don't know maybe i left it open once although i don't think so uh okay uh, as the bronzer i used the kosas of course on my cheeks i had to use this new patrick ta i already did a full review on it i don't know if it's live yet or not but if it's not it will come this is the she's blushing uh what else on the lips i have a fenty sister something let me check scholar sister um and that's about it i didn't put any highlighter because i want to see how the foundation is sitting and so far i am in love <laughs> i am in love with how my skin looks right now the foundation is just so beautiful i will really love the concealer uh, i will say that i think if i enjoy this one i will order another shade that's a little darker um just uh, right now i'm not super self tan so like if i do that i'd like to have a deeper shade as well if i end up loving it but the shade is nice it's really nice it's like um good undertone and i think it looks really pretty on the skin uh, i'm gonna zoom you guys in all right guys i will wear this all day and give you my final thoughts at the end of the day all right guys so it has been about nine hours and it's been nine long hours the baby's still throwing up we just it's just a lot i don't think we've done as much laundry in our lives um anything he puts in his mouth is just out so it's been a hard day uh and i've done a lot uh, but the foundation is still looking good it is not too glowy uh, which I'm surprised. I was expecting this to kind of get glowier, but I think it held up pretty nicely. Um, overall, it looks good, but it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look perfect, dare I say. Uh, it looks worn in, but in a good way. So around my chin is kind of gone right here. Um, around my upper lip, I feel like it has separated a little bit right around here but everything else is looking nice um like this is all perfect and this and this is the area where like i ate a lot you know we did a lot through the house so for me this is a good wear overall i still have a lot of the makeup on um and i'm liking it i think i was kind of rubbing my eyes a little bit and I was holding the baby and everything. So I think some of the darkness kind of came down here. But um, yeah, I, I think this foundation is really good. I'm very surprised it did not get glowier. Like I think it it's the same. It stayed put pretty much the same. Um, now, in under these lights, it looks different than it looked outside. So outside, when I was kind of around and just doing things and I saw myself in the mirror, it looked extra glowy. <laughs> so when the sun would hit it, I felt like I need to powder. But right now, I don't. So I don't know if the initial application, it felt like I was too glowy almost. And now it kind of calmed down. Um, but under these lights, I think it looks really nice but when i was around the sunlight and in the living room and everything i felt like i was a very glowy um so yeah i don't know what to say about that but uh i think the glow kind of calmed itself down um and it looks really good let's zoom you in and turn the lights down all right so we can kind of see how the skin is looking like I really like this foundation. It definitely reminds me of the Chanel number no. one foundation that I'm just like absolutely in love. It reminds me a lot of that one. That one sits a little bit better around the pores than this one. Now this side is uh, primed and this is not. 
and I can see a slight difference like this lasted a little bit better and I think the pores and this whole area looks better even the nose and then uh, I see a bit of a difference here I think the foundation moved a little bit more on this side compared to this one uh, you can kind of see even the blush stayed better on this side and this one is a little you know just gone and used up and you can kind of start seeing things kind of come through um so i definitely recommend using a good primer with this one. i think it's going to give you more longevity but i'm i'm liking overall even though it faded it faded nicely it's not like too noticeable uh, i love the coverage i love the way it looked on the skin and overall i like it again i think it's kind of similar to the number one but that one, if I were to pick between these two, I would pick that one because around the pores, it's much more smoother. Um, this is a little bit, I mean, it's hard to say because today I felt like I was kind of glowy. And right now sitting down, I don't feel like I'm very glowy. So I don't know if it's what I've been doing during the day. Did I touch my face too much? It's been a blur. <laughs> today has been a blur. But um, yeah, anyway, I would pick that the Chanel over this one because of the blurriness effect uh, but this is so much cheaper and I think it has the same finish on the skin and just it's just pretty it's a really pretty foundation um and yeah I don't think this is the most long lasting foundation I don't think this is a 12 plus hours at least for me um but with the primer I think you can definitely make it work uh, just make it last longer. Looking up close, I can see that even this side that wasn't primed um, is just looking a little bit more separated than this one. Um, also, as much crap as I talked about that liner, it stayed put. I mean, this liner has not smudged, has not moved it's literally in perfect condition <laughs> so i'm loving the formula i just had a hard time with the tip because most of the product would not reach the tip so i have it right here and so if i press down i get product quite a lot see but if i go like this i don't get enough precision like it's not even coming off now if i press yes but i need a really pointy tip that i don't have to press hard because if i press too hard what happens is it gives me too harsh of a line see that's too thick i want a super teeny tiny tiny fine line and it's not giving me that it gives me just like a smudge um, or a dry looking line so i don't like that like the tom ford the dual tom ford is just amazing it you barely touch it and the pigments there but this lasted on so so well so maybe using this and then the tom ford just to like pinpoint in like sharp edges i don't know let me know if you guys have had that issue with this one but it does stay a long time so overall i really like this foundation i give it a thumbs up i think it's really nice again it's clean at sephora now if you're my shade if i were me i would go just a shade darker than this um i kind of looked in different lighting and i felt like my face was just a little lighter than just the rest of my body um so instead of 170 i don't know 180 190 i thought that there was a good neutral color there uh, i think that one would probably be a better fit if again you're kind of my skin tone but the rest i liked i even liked the concealer color i like this one because i can combine it with another one if i needed and it's more neutral than like yellow so those are kind of my thoughts i would love to hear what you have to say what you think about this foundation have you picked it up have you tried it do you like it i like it i love it i think it's i think it's a great foundation that feels like skin kind of looks like skin and wears decently decently mostly with a primer i really think this side looks really nice all right guys so that is all for today i can't wait to chit chat with you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye